In my 10th grade literature class, my students analyzed the work of classic Greek philosophers in order to understand the foundation of Western thought and the principles of the English language. In the back left-hand corner of the class sits Kevin, a 15-year-old boy with academic apathy embroidered on his eyelids and a stardust disposition that can be seen all the way from the other side of this 1960s kaleidoscope of a hallway. Keeps his head face down on his desk because with no father, he says he's never known a man in this world worth looking up to. But I try to engage him anyway. I try to connect this excerpt from a thousand-year-old text to the world he wakes up to every morning. And some days are more successful than others. But today, Kevin comes up to me after class and says, Mr. Smith, why do we even read this stuff anyway? So I tell him, Kevin Socrates was killed for political dissension. This world wants to see you killed by giving a suspension. His time was more similar to yours than you think. But now, Athenian and Spartan militias manifest themselves in bandanas and brown skins. So I beg of you, don't become part of a war in which you were never meant to fight. Listen, Aristotle says we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act but a habit. So you better act like you have it because the only difference between you and these Greek philosophers is the scraggly beard the wrinkly skin in that silly looking robe, but your ideas are no less profound, your insights no less enlightening, your values no less important. There are brilliant words bubbling from the ballpoint tip of your pen if you would just take off the cap, but what do I know? I'm just a 25 year old public school teacher who continuously questions everything he's ever known. We have skin of a common complexion, but a lifetime of experiences more dissimilar than the solar system, so who am I to come into this classroom and tell you what to do? A quarter lifetime worth of missteps has taught me that my savior complex is something I need to shed from my skin, so trust. I'm not trying to save you because I'm still trying to save myself. Honestly, how can I teach him to believe in Plato when gentrification has taught him he is nothing more than Plato, something to be moved and molded at will by those doing the sculpting, so there's only one thing left to do. Become the sculptor and not the sculpted. Become the statistician and not the statistic. Kevin, I'm not perfect. I'm just a teacher trying to get you to understand all that you are already capable of doing. So I have no choice but to make sure you understand how to dissect this text because nobody's pity is going to get you into college. We will work until concepts like the prison industrial complex and the achievement gap are archived into the library of America's imperfections. You will learn to read critically, write consciously, speak clearly because that is the only way this world will ever listen to what you have to say. So let's make this world see you in more than just Jordans and prisons, let's flip that and let them see you with college admissions. Show them you are more than just a jumble of brown faced quantitative data on charts and spreadsheets. Show them there is an Aristotle awaiting to be awakened in your chest. Show them there is a Plato pumping potential through your veins. Show them there is a Socrates ready to spring forth from your throat. Your Mount Olympus is standing right in front of your face. So now it's time to pick up your head and start climbing.